here I'm in Bukhara the city of historical places and amazing foods it's famous for the Silk Road and guys this is gorgeous with lots of foods we are going to try pilaf in Bukhara and other stuff in this beautiful city so don't miss it please share this video with your friends let's eat So the first stop is Bazaar, local Bazaar in Bukhara and we are going for famous sashir or curry mug and honey. I can't wait. We are so hungry. Look at this. Amazing fruits, all fresh from Bukhara. Local bread. Wow. Must? Chakke. Chakke. It's oh, full fat. It's full fat um, yogurt. We call it chakke. Chakke means really fatty. Look at this. My mom loves it. Mom and my. Showing me the saffron from Iran. Saffron. Oh, the most expensive spice in the world. More expensive than gold. Very good. Very good. Very good. What's your name? Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr. Don't forget if you come to Bukhara, come to Abu Bakr for saffron and amazing spices from Bukhara. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come, come. What is it? Can you tell me? 
into like Somala. Somala. We call it Samanu in yes, Farsi. Yes, it's a festive uh, sweet dish which is specially made in uh, Navruz yeah. holiday, traditional uh, right. holiday. It's made of uh, sprouted sweet green yeah. and uh, wheat flour. Yes. And we put it in, in our sofre of yes. se seven scene. I will tell you the story later. But it's so famous. It's delicious. Oh, and you want try to, can it. I try it? Please. Uh, do you have something? Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. fine. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> yes, you find out. So what, can you tell me what's the ingredients in it? Flour? Flour, wheat flour and sprouted wheat grains. Oh, wheat grains. Yes, they squeeze and grind it uh, and obtain the white liquid mm. and uh, fry it in a hot oil. <laughs> Just cook it in a fr ah. hot oil and then only they uh, mix it with the uh, uh, flour. Oh, so I try to find the process of it for you guys. So let's see. Hopefully I, I can find it. Yes. Inshallah, I'll pay you when I'm doing the session. Inshallah. Inshallah. So delicious. And what's that one? Inshallah. This is Nishallah, the kind of halwa as well. Can I try it? Yes. It's quite sweet. Oh! It's very sweet. You had it? Yes. Oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know the taste. Mmm. This is real. So, what's the name again? Nishallo. Nishallo. Really famous. They have it with tea. And it's so delicious. This one is different. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And it, it's also like a tradition uh, in Nauru's. So. so is especially made from this greenery. It is called maisa. Oh. Yes, this, uh, they grind it, they squeeze it to obtain the white liquid, and then only they mix it with uh, wheat flour. And you have it for hafsin as yes. well. Yes. And this is for the hafsin, famous Persian uh, and dish. Uzbeki, like many countries uh, celebrating it yeah. for Nowruz, the New Year of Persians and Uzbeki and Tajiki, every country around this area. Yes. Amazing. Look at this. Oh, honey. Oh, this is good. Fresh. Mmm. So that. This kind of honey, it has quite thick consistency, but it's also considered to be the one of the healthy one. Uh, the liquid one is, uh, yes, it's quite uh, fresh, he says. Uh -huh. Yes, and uh, it is eaten especially with kaimak. Oh, with kaimak, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's try the... Mm. Oh, it's so thick. Mm. So sweet, even more than honey. Oh, so delicious, guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So this is Roganzard. It's ghee. My mom used to call it Roganzard in Mashhad. And let's smell it. Oh, this is really good for the egg. If you have it with egg, this is the best egg in the world. And you can see the root. 
They are carrots. You can have lots of food with them. And local eggs and other stuff as well. It's fresh. Yeah, it is. So it's 25,000 sum. Let's get the gray mug and bread and then let's start eating. Guys, and you can find all proteins and meat here in the market. All meat. You can see calipache, sheep's head. You can see cow head. Look at the sheep over there. So what's the name of this place? Arc Citadel. Arc Citadel. Arc One Citadel. of the most famous yes. building. Historic building in Bukhara. Mm -hmm. And amazing food and we've got Amiri bread here look at this wow it's so light compared to the Samagandi bread and we got nigella and we got sesame and look at this beauty honey and kmok and sashir wow. so let's try it <laughs> Let's try it. Mm. 
Wow! The best! The best! <laughs> Too delicious! No, no, no. Nan, we said. Let's eat! Love you, Bukhara! This one goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try this. <laughs> one of our lovely fans from Latvia, yeah? From Latvia, yeah. Oh my god. In lovely Bukhara. He's he's better tasted than me. <laughs> he's better tasted than me for because sure. You're at work. I'm at pleasure. <laughs> Thank you so much. You take Thank care. you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As they said here, Rahmat. Rahmat, Rahmat. Ah. Uh, <laughs> the best yeah, piece is running with me. <laughs> take care. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> So guys, the next stop is Magistral. It's famous for Bukhara Polo. The Bukhara Polo is different to other cities, other regions. So let's go and see what's inside. Let's the taste there. Oh. Look at our face. Kamal Khui? So he's bringing the whole sausage for us, so we can film it for you. Wow, the horse sausage. <laughs> wow, look at this. So he's cutting the horse sausage. <laughs> I'm not going to 
So Bukharian plov has its own characteristics and distinctive uh, features. And uh, over the centuries, uh, people try to season it, flavor it with uh, a lot of greenery, a lot of spices. And uh, for example, turmeric, cumin. Some people put uh, queens in order to just uh, enhance the flavor. Some people are uh, just decorated with the pomegranate seeds as well. And, uh, and you, said, you said about the raisin. Raisin, yes, yeah. Sultana raisin. Yeah. Sultana raisin, it is considered to be the holiday plov. Uh, and that's why it is called Osha Sofi. Yeah. And uh, Sultana raisins. So Osha Sofi is the plov. Yes. I was holiday. thinking Osha Sofi is Osh, but it's not. Osh. It's Bukhara plov. Yes. They prepare it especially in uh, many events like yeah. uh, wedding, funeral, uh, and other ones. All right. Yeah. And this is old, isn't it? Yes, they uh, usually prepared it in a kope kazans. Oh, kope, kope kazans. kazans. Yes, in order to look see the taste. Yeah. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. And look at the plow. Wow. Oh, this is heaven. Bukhara is heaven. And look at the sesame oil. This is gorgeous, guys. You should come to Bukhara only for this. And you know, it is considered to be dietary and light because oh. they add sesame oil, cottonseed oil, and uh, adipose. Amazing. Adipose. Yeah, Dumba. Dumba, Dumba. <laughs> Let's eat. Guys, Bukhara Polo, it's like dream come true. Dumba, look at this. How big is that? The sausage, horse sausage. And also it's lamb and I can see raisin, sesame oil, chickpeas and also carrot. In here, they having it with a spoon and fork, but I'm gonna try both. So let's try the amazing Bukhara Polo. And don't forget quail egg. Oh my God. <laughs> this is gorgeous guys. And quail egg. So let's try it. <laughs> this is the best polo ever. Seriously. And look at this. We've got pickles. <laughs> we call it Khiar Shur. Let's try the Khiar Shur with this amazing food. With the Dumba, everything mixed. Mm. <laughs> I changed my mind. I want to live in Bukhara. And one more, we're gonna have with the hands, okay? It's messy taste this side. They're having with the a spoon here. Mm. Mm. And one more for sure. Oh. Mm. Bukhara is the best city in the world. Hamam, Kharaf. Bukhara bread? Yogurt? This one is salad. And also don't forget in Uzbekistan, no Coca-Cola, no Pepsi, mostly having amazing tea. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh. 
All right, guys, what an amazing experience. Let's go to the next spot. Bukhara. Okay, one of the prominent landmarks in the city, Puikalan Moks, Mosque Puikalan, taken from Persian language, it means the foot of the great. The oh. great is considered to be a Haminari oh, Kalan. Look at this. Yes, uh, the height of the foot. about 9 10 meters oh 48 meters yes. that's amazing uh, it was built in 12th century you All know right. a lot of dynasties and empires passed through the city because bukhara was one of the center of trade the center of science center of muslim theology connecting the countries of mediterranean and amazing. far east yes right. and that's why a lot of uh, dynasties try to leave something after uh, themselves right. so minaret kalan was built uh, during the 12th century uh, and on the initiative of Arslan Khan Muhammad, yeah. one of the powerful and prominent rulers of that dynasty. Uh -huh. So uh, Minaret Kalan was built uh, totally from the baked uh, builds. Uh -huh. So a lot of uh, the belts, I mean from 12th to 16th yeah. belts and uh, Arabian, sons, uh, Arabian inscripts on there. Uh -huh. date of the construction it's 1127 and 1129 so it was built uh, um, I mean uh, as I said, uh, uh, by the order of Arslan Khan Muhammad, he had uh, one of the um, great, um, I mean, master, master builder, builder master. He his name was uh, Ustobako, Master Ustobako. Uh -huh. Yes, he put a foundation of the minaret and he disappeared just disappeared yeah. and just uh, came back two years later really and wow. yes uh, and explained it uh, that he wanted to uh, minaret uh, to be quite solid uh, and then only to start the building of minaret <laughs> 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 this minaret Perfect. was built, as I said, in 12th century, but to this construction, the Mosque Kalan. Yeah. Mosque Kalan, it means... Yes. And uh, the uh, Madrasa. Madrasa, yes. Thank you very much. Careful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Now it's time for having some Bukhara dishes in the middle of all places. It's really cool, really beautiful, and it's really cold. So let's go and eat. Mr. Taste. We're going to have Khanum. Not that Khanum, this Khanum.
So we are going to show you how Bukhara people making Khanum food and I will try it and see how it tastes like. So let's see what we need. We need meat, which is lamb, potato, pumpkin, onion, cumin or zira, salt, black pepper, paprika, I don't know what that is, but I know this is Korean salt. In Chie? Coriander. Coriander. We've got coriander, flour, and dough, uh, and our dough, and also the vegetables. Cucumber, pepper, tomato, and some other vegetables as well. Mesa taster, Bukhara.
reminding me dumpling. Um, so they like ashak and mantu in Afghanistan as well. But they put the whole khanum in the dick. <laughs> they put the khanum in the dick, they cook it. She is teaching me how to make kabuti, huh? Kabuti? Kabuti. Kabuti gusht. And spinach. And also pumpkin. Pumpkin. With pumpkin. Now it's my turn. Okay. One, two, three. Uh -huh. I was born as a chef. I am a big chef in Bukhara. <laughs> oh, big chef. Gordon Ramsay in Bukhara. One, huh? One. Uh, more. One shot. One shot. One Okay guys, we got kabuti, which is Bukhara samosa. Look, this one is meat, espinach, and pumpkin, or pumpkin, espinach. I don't know, I will, I will check it. Let's try it. So I put it deep in the sauce. That looks really good, guys. This is meat. Wow. Mmm. Gorgeous. Wow. The best. And this one is, let's check, pumpkin. So I dip it in the sauce again. This is good for vegetarian. Mm. This one is really delicious, but meat is out of this world. Looks amazing. It has been like omelets, Persian omelets.
Miss Uzbeki dumpling. Khanum. With the sauce, a special sauce on top of the khanum. So let's try it. Wow. That looks awesome. <laughs> Look at the meat, pumpkin, and potato. Mm. Wow, this is gorgeous. It tastes like lasagna, Bukhara, Bukhara lasagna. Oh, I love it. Mm. Love it so much. Guys, it's worth it to come here, eat this, and go back home. Love you. All right, guys, what an amazing place and what an amazing food <laughs> and amazing people. Bukhara, I love you. I, I love, love you so much. I love you. So I love my peg my wife, Pega, and then Bukhara, <laughs> number two. <laughs> Good to see you. From Iran, huh? Nice to meet you. Nice Come to meet again. you. Thank Come you. Often. I will, I will, I will. See you in Dubai. You're coming with us? Hi. We're going to take you to Dubai. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm Come to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> All right, amazing. <laughs> nice to meet Bye. you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Our cameraman. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. All right, guys, I'm going to say thank you to Ministry of Tourism of Uzbekistan and also Bukhara. And I'm saying this from my heart. I love Bukhara. Guys, this is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. I'm going to say thank you to you guys because of sharing my videos and watching it. And please come to Bukhara as soon as you can. You're going to be in love with them. So let's go home. We've got another video tomorrow from the village around the Bukhara, and then we're going back to Tashkent. Love you so much. Let's go to the hotel.